everybody. Welcome back for the second screencast dealing with molar conversions. All right, just as a reminder, when we go from moles to particles, we need mole Avogadro's number to make our unit equality where one mole of any substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And remember, those particles can be atoms, molecules, protons, neutrons, electrons, basketballs, soccer balls, you know, whatever we're working with, one mole of that substance contains that many particles. If instead we're looking at mass and moles, we're going to need to know the molar mass of our substance. So that's where you're going to need your periodic table, so make sure you have that handy. All right, if it's an element, you're going to take that value right off the table, where one mole of that substance is equal to the molar mass. So for example, one mole of oxygen has a mass of 16 grams. If it is a compound, you're going to need to look at the molar mass values of each element within that compound, multiply them by any subscripts, and then add them all up. So one mole of water, for example, which contains two hydrogens and one oxygen, would be equal to 18.02 grams. All right, so we're going to scroll down to problems three and four. These two problems deal with converting back and forth between moles and particles. All right, so if we look at number three, how many particles are in 0.857 moles of H2O? All right, so we're given moles of water and we're asked to determine how many particles. All right, so I put a plan together just to get started. Now, eventually you're not going to need your plan anymore, but it might be a good idea just to get started. So we're going to take that 0.857 moles of water and calculate how many particles of water that would be. All right, now you can put the word molecule in there. That's perfectly fine. All right, to do that, we're going to need Avogadro's number for our unit equality. All right, and no matter what substance it is, one mole of that substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. All right, it's actually a little bit easier than grams and moles because you don't have to calculate molar mass. It's always the same number. All right, so to start the problem, we take what we've been given, 0.857 moles of H2O, and we're going to convert that into particles using Avogadro's number. So we take our unit equality that we've written over here, and we look at the unit that we've been given, and that unit's going to go on the bottom. So one mole of water contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of H2O. All right, we check our units. Moles are going to cancel. We're left with particles, which is what the question was asking. So now it's just a matter of using our calculator. All right, so we have 0.857 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and you should get an answer of 5.16 times 10 to the 23rd particles of H2O. All right, if by chance you did not get that number, please come see me and let's talk about how you're using your calculator. Scientific notation and the calculators can be a little tricky because each calculator can do it slightly differently. All right, so if you didn't get the right answer but your setup is correct, it easily could just be a calculator issue. All right, let's move on to number four. This one says how many moles contain 8.52 times 10 to the 24th particles of FeCl3. All right, so we've been given particles of iron 3 chloride and we're asked how many moles of this substance we have. All right, so we have 8.52 times 10 to the 24th particles of FeCl3 and we're asked to convert that into moles of FeCl3. All right. As we're going from particles to moles, that means again, we're gonna need Avogadro's number. And just as we saw above, one mole of any substance contains the same amount, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of that substance, all right? So you can see the conversion factor looks really similar to the one we used in problem three above. We've just swapped out H2O for FeCl3. All right, so we're going to start the problem just like we did above with the number that we've been given, 8.52 times 10 to the 24th particles of FeCl3. And we want to convert. This time the mole is going to go up top because that's what we're looking for. And Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, will go on the bottom so that we can cancel. Oh, I'm running out of room a little bit. 
So the particles are gonna cancel. We're gonna be left with moles. So now it's just a matter of using our calculator. All right, so we type in 8.52 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And you should get 14.15 moles of FeCl3. All right, again, similar to problem number three, if you did not get that answer, please make sure you check in with me so that I can make sure your calculator is not the one causing the problem. All right, so those are just two examples of how you convert back and forth between moles and particles and particles and moles. All right, the next video is gonna look at what happens if we start with grams and need to go all the way to particles or what if we start with particles and we need to go all the way to grams.